my name is Nathan. Uh, I'm a business major. Uh, I'm from Houston, Texas. Awesome. And my name is McKenna Parsons. I'm an intern here for housing. Um, we are touring Yoakum Hall today. So let us know if you have any questions, send them in the comments. Also, if you want to just now joining, tune in and let us know where you're joining from. Yeah, so this is Yoakum. Uh, behind y'all is the Walton School of Business right across the street. So it's really convenient if you're a business major. Next to Walton is the Kimball Hall, uh, which is like the English building. And then uh, for your dining options, you got a uh, Founders, you got like a 1021, mm -hmm. which is a cafeteria. You got a Slim Chickens, you have a sushi bar, curry corner, all yes. that good stuff. Where the Wild Greens are is right Where there the too. Where the Wild Greens are too. Yeah. Vegan place. And we're in the Diamond neighborhood, if you didn't know that. Awesome. Ready to head inside? Yeah. Um, someone asked if we'll answer specific questions on room measurements. We will be doing that. That is, that is to come when we go to the rooms. Awesome. So here's the office as we pass by. Yeah. Uh, so this is the lounge. We have lots of programs here. It's a good place to chill. Uh, over here. We have the mail, uh, your mailboxes. Uh, it's for like paper mail. If you have like a big package, you're gonna pick it up from the front um, office. And a good reminder that you will share your mailbox with your roommate if you have one. So your mail will go to the same box. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Where are we headed to next? Uh, the basement. Perfect. Some water fountains, good place to fill your water. How many floors is Yoka made up of? I believe nine. Yes. Well, hello there. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Who are you? <laughs> um, I'm Jacinda. I'm going to be the SRA or the Senior RA of Yoakum next year. Perfect. Year. Awesome. You going to join us along the way? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first, before we go, do you have any advice for incoming freshmen, first year students? Um, when you move in, like that first eight week when people are hanging out, just don't be scared of people. Hang out mm -hmm. with people. Introduce yourself. Um, our floors are super great for communities, so just Keep your door open and say hi when people walk past. Awesome. Thank you. How long have you been with Yoakum? Um, I've lived here for three years, so super fun. <laughs> I love it here. I ask to come back every year, so get excited. Yoakum's awesome. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Let's go look at the snack area. We are in the basement, right? Uh, we are. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and we you got recycling. We drink. We have a recycling here because mm -hmm. that's important yes i think every dorm or hall has a really awesome recycling spot so you can use apple pay on these and get snacks before you go to class it's awesome little corner some monster in case you're tired and what's your drink of choice what's your uh, what's your condiment or convenience thing of choice i gotta say uh, tea. Tea. Yeah, okay. Tea. Sweet, sweet or unsweet? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I mean, sweet. That's okay. Mutual question. <laughs> so you're lived in sweet tea. There Very go. southern. Awesome. So this is a basement common area. We have a phone booth here. <laughs> Without phones. These are old. <laughs> There's several of them though. And we have a kitchen over here. Small kitchen. Got your oven, stove and oven. Stove, microwave. So we have another lounge area here. Uh, pool tables, ping pong tables. You're gonna rent out the equipment from the uh, front office. Well, not rent, more borrow. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, you just leave your student ID card and they'll give you what you need. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You also, out the windows, you have an amazing view of the, the hills over there mm -hmm. and parking as well. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. 
and there's a TV. I bet, do people watch series over here? Do they have like a Tuesday night, you know, yeah, certain yeah. show they come and watch together? I know a lot of halls have little groups of people that like to come and do that. Yeah, we have movie nights a lot. Um, we do a lot of our programs down here. Um, so once a month, there's like all hall where the entire dorm gets together and we like eat free food, maybe get some free stuff, yes. um, do crafts, watch movies. Yeah. All the best stuff. We hang out a lot down here. It's all really free fun. food. Awesome. awesome. All right, can we head to laundry? I know yeah. that's down here. Yeah, it's just a minute away. Just a minute away, any, just around the corner. Any summer programming? You guys are streaming? Anything worth watching? Any recs? <laughs> the summer I turn pretty. Oh, what's that one? I, one of my friends <laughs> is talking about that. The summer I turn pretty, watch it. <laughs> what's it on? Uh, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. <laughs> Yeah. You're not endorsed by Amazon. I'm, I'm waiting to watch the second season, Yasmin, if you're watching this. I'm waiting to watch it, to watch with my RA friends when we all get back. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's a friend show. You can't watch until... Yeah, we all watched it together. Yeah, and now yeah. we have to wait. That's... <laughs> okay. It's a little bit loud, so we might have to speak pretty loud. But this is the laundry room. Tell us about laundry. Uh, so you're going to download the Speed Me app. So yep. you get two loads per week. Uh, if you want like an additional load, you have a link to your account. It's $1.50 each time, so $3 total mm -hmm. wash and dry. But we shouldn't need to wash your clothes more than twice a week. Yeah, and if you need to, you can pay a little bit extra. But yes, download the Speed Queen app. Um, that app, you will already have an account created for you with your UARC email and information. So you just have to sign in. You don't even have to create an account. You just swipe it, I believe. Yes. Yep, and there's also the ice machine. That's awesome. All right. All right, so can you go upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Headed upstairs. Elevator time. Someone said floor seven gang. How do you feel about floor seven? I lived on floor seven <laughs> two years ago. I love floor seven. Are <laughs> we going to so floor happy. four? I think we are, yes. We're yes. going to four um, and touring some of the rooms That's there. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you're living on seven this year, you'll have an awesome girl named Mary as your RA. Woo! She's the best. You'll love her. If you're living here, send any questions you have in the chat. Um, we're about to head up to one of the rooms. So, See people from Texas, some people from Dallas specifically. Lots of Texas people here. Lots of Lowell. Dallas people here. Brian, Arkansas, welcome, welcome. I like how Dallas covers more than just Dallas. Yeah. Like if you're from the area, <laughs> Dallas. Yeah, and then you're like, what? where are you actually from? Yeah. <laughs> so we might briefly lose connection as we go up in the elevator. We might not. Um, just a heads up. Mind the gap, too, as far as I'm not dropping any phones down here. <laughs> that happens frequently. It does. <laughs> it does. I always fill up my water bottle in this little thing. Yes, um, yeah. Cause this is filtered. Yeah, I don't you ever use this part, which I guess you could, but I always just fill up right here. Or you can get a burnout. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yep, so yes. if you're not using the filtered water, I will say our water comes from Beaver Lake oh. to the north. And then as the season changes, the lake will the bottom part will come up to the top mm -hmm. because of the change in the temperature. And there will be a few days where the water tastes a little different. It's coming from the bottom to the top. I did not know that. That's a natural process. <laughs> I went through my whole life and I had no idea of that. <laughs> awesome. So what room are we headed to? Uh, we can go check out the bathrooms first. Bathrooms uh, first. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. It's on. So we can go this way. Yeah, I think we opened up some doors over there. So that's fine. Right there. Yeah, we can just take a loop by the stairwell. And this is a co-ed building. Um, do you know how many beds are here? 500 and something? Yeah, 500 something. Yeah. Pretty big community. It's about 50 per four, right? Yes, 55. Yeah, so we have uh, two showers uh, and two stalls. Let's peek in here just so people know. <laughs> yep, so two stalls, rotate back. Except in a shower, just let them know if they yeah. Hard where they get in there. This is nice. You have a little changing area too. Have some privacy and a hook. Awesome. Yeah. So these are your showers. 
that you'll be using in Yoakum. And there is two of them in each bathroom. And then I believe there's a bathroom on both sides of the hall. And four sinks. So we can take a, we can pass through there. Okay. Because we've opened up one on the other side. Uh, let's check out the uh, pipe chase room first. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Was it? That's not close. Yeah. Okay. So you got a stairwell on each side of the building. If the elevator's going too slow, people <laughs> use the stairs. <laughs> Be sure you log it though on your Apple Watch or your Fitbit. <laughs> Someone asked, how does co-ed work, by floor or by section? Um, depends on the floor. So this floor right now is all guys, um, and there's other floors like that as well. Some of the floors, like seventh floor, um, half of the floor is guys and the other half is girls. So it just kind of depends. And we also have all girl floors, so it just depends on your floor. But. Am I going too far? No, I think it's down here. It's, it's right, here it's right over here. Yeah. She knows. <laughs> we'll let her lead the way. Yes. Yeah, Long-term resident. <laughs> yeah, it gets confusing, but yeah. Okay, so first we're going to look at 417. This is one of two rooms we'll be looking at. Um, and this is called? A pipe chair. A pipe chase room. So this is the the special case scenario where there's this little pipe chase moment in the corner. Um, these do come with a TV, I believe all of them do. And tell us a little bit about it. Um, so you have a really nice view to the south. You can see the football stadium. It's only about ten minutes of walking. Yeah, really close. Really great view. How often do bathrooms get cleaned? I believe daily. Uh, yeah, um, twice a day. And then on the weekends, um, if something's like really out of the ordinary and RA, we'll clean. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we are in a pipe chase room currently. So if you have any questions about dimensions, make sure you send those in the chat. We can answer them while we're here before we move on to the typical rooms. Mm -hmm. Someone said, no water filters, just nature. <laughs> <laughs> no, residents typically really like these rooms. Um, they're really cozy. You can move the furniture around compared to our other rooms. You can't, mm -hmm. so. Yep. And get like a rug, some lights. You know, it's always really cozy and nice. And the TV's mounted, so you can't beat that. You know, it doesn't take storage away from me. And this is room 417, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, someone asked that again. We are in room 417. If this is your room, let us know <laughs> if we're in your room currently for the fall. Yes, and this is the only type of room that has movable, movable furniture. Um, someone said dimensions, please. Uh, make sure you specify what dimensions, but we can just real quick maybe get the window dimensions, um, which there is this little chunk in the corner. We'll also get the walls in a moment. Kind of a long reach, you got it? 10 inches, uh, 10 feet, Ten seven feet. inches across. 10 feet, seven inches, and then maybe height, yep. Four feet, 11 inches. Four feet, 11 inches, and then let's also just get this counter. One foot exactly. One foot, okay. And then could you somehow go from this wall all the way across? So maybe hold it up against yeah. the wall here. I'll just uh, Oh, that works, set it on the edge of the bed. Can you see where the dot's going? To the wall, perfect. 11 feet, nine inches. 11 feet, nine inches. Yeah, seem about right? Somewhere Roughly. <laughs> okay, someone asked about the space underneath the TV. So if we could just go from the bottom of the TV to the floor, um, okay. that'd be great. And then maybe also the width of the wall. Five and a half feet. Five and a half feet, awesome. And what was the other one? The width of this wall, which is gonna be hard. Let me come over here so you can put the dot on my hand okay. from, from that side to this side. Three feet, eight inches. Three feet, eight inches, roughly. Awesome. Well, if we don't have any other questions, this is um, 417, I think we're gonna move on. How many outlets are there in here? Just real quick. Do we know? One, two, one, three. Two, four. Four. At least four. At least four. There might be five if one's hiding back here. 
I think there is, yes. So there is five in this room, which means there is 10 outlets. Awesome, let's go. If you're just joining, let us know where you're tuning in from. And if you have any questions, we are now headed to room, I believe, for 19. 419. So this is what most rooms will look like here in Yoko. Tons of built-in storage. Get a quick view. Someone asked about inside a closet. So right after we kind of get the view of the room, we will measure the closet for you. Once again, amazing views. And this is only the fourth floor. Imagine going up even higher. Yes, so these are the closets, mirrors, all the storage. Okay. Now let's let's get those closet measurements. All right, I'll get the height first. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. So to this shelf, that's about five two, five feet and two inches. And then how long is the pole for clothes? Yeah, all the way across there. Three feet ten inches. Three feet ten inches. What about this little shelf, huh? How long? Yeah. Eight inches. Eight inches, and then the top one can you reach? One foot eight inches. So 20 inches. Yes, yeah, so that first room we did tour, it was a pipe chase room. Someone asked, yes, that's what that was. And now we're in what the majority of the rooms will look like. Okay, could you tell them about um, the 3D? Uh, presentations they can find online. Yeah. Where they can measure things as well. Yeah. Um, let me flip the camera real quick. So if you go to housing.york.edu um, and scroll down. Halls. Go to the halls. Go to the halls. Specific hall. Yes. Down to the explore area of the page. Okay. So you go to the explore area of the page and there you can actually walk through all of the halls yourself. It's kind of a virtual, it's called Matterport. It's a virtual tour and you can even measure things in there for yourself. So if you have additional questions that we can't get to, that's a great place to look on our website. That is something new and it's there just for you to use. Someone asked, can the bed be lifted before move in? Absolutely, it can. You can tell us about that? Put in a fix it request or? Yeah, um, so just Google fix it UARC and then you can get to the little request portal. Um, but you can just ask for them to have it lofted before you get here um, and you tell them a certain height or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll typically try to get all those requests fulfilled, but yeah, it should and be. Lofted. Yeah, I believe there's a date. Do we know the date for that? You have to do it by, by the end of the month. By the end of the month. So if you want your bed if you lofted want ahead, of time. ahead of time before you get here, that does need to be sent um, by the end of this month. But we will have rubber mounts and stuff for you at move in. If like you don't get that request in, you can do it yourself super easily um, with just a rubber mallet, and mm -hmm. we'll have those available for you. But. Awesome. Any other questions about dimensions? I think we did get closet dimensions. Um, Let's also get this counter right here. How deep is the counter? Okay. Um, and, and when it comes to lofting, well, all the way five, five feet ten inches, all the way across. And two feet. Two feet deep. Okay. Sorry. What was that you were saying? The lofting is done with these little pins here, mm -hmm. and this one in particular can go from. It does every three inches, from twenty-four inches to fifty-nine inches. Beautiful. And it's just if you want to turn it. You have to knock it out with a rubber mallet, turn this thing around if you want to take it up high. Yes. This yeah. is really low. Ones. Yep, yep. So you can see here. Kind so of you can do there. it yourself or, you know, have a friend help you, maybe a family member help you. But we will do it in advance mm -hmm. if you do that. Someone asked how high is the ceiling? Could we get from floor to ceiling? Yeah. Uh, Just going to straight up to the ceiling here. All right. Eight inches, exactly. Eight feet? Or eight, feet. Yeah. <laughs> eight inches high ceiling now. <laughs> eight feet. Um, can we measure from the top of the bookshelf mm -hmm. to the ceiling? Yes. So this shelf here to the ceiling. Two feet. Exactly? Yeah, exactly two feet. Mm, beautiful. Two feet. Yeah, so you've got these built-in drawers here for your desk, shelving, and even cork boards. Is that what this is? Behind the, behind the bed top. So that's awesome. You can also, I've seen a lot of people buy fabric because they didn't like the color of this and just kind of cover it with whatever looked nice to them. 
Yeah, um, a lot of people buy fabric and you just like pin it in, um, and then you can take it off at the end of the year. Super easy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then some people buy like little like command shelves for like the size of this. Um, big thing that I do um, as someone who lives here is if you buy like a shower curtain rod mm -hmm. for like the top of this and you buy uh, like a curtain, it kind of closes your closet and gives you a little bit more privacy for storage. Yes. I mean, it can get pretty messy in these closets. <laughs> um, but so it is a lot of closet space it's, compared it's to huge. most. It's, yeah. It's huge. Um, so yeah, the curtain comes in handy. I use the curtain and I love it. Um, and then, you know, cute little decor for the shelves. Someone has an additional question about the bulletin board. Um, can we get the dimensions of it so that they know yeah. how much fabric they would need? Uh, Either one. Uh, my hand. Uh, it it does measure from the bottom of the device you're holding, just yes. so you know. Yeah, from the very bottom. So you want the bottom of it to be at the height oh. of the board. Okay. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Three feet. Well, that's the the dots going down there. Put your hand at the bottom. There you go. That'll do it. My bad. You're good. So two feet exactly. Two feet, and then one side to the other. Two feet eleven inches. Awesome. So almost three. One other note I'll make is that um, removable wallpaper is not allowed. Anything that would has a substantial chance of causing damage to the paint. Mm -hmm. it's, no, it's not it's not allowed. So yeah. We don't want to charge you for it. And so we preemptively say don't 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 do removable wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Especially stuff that like sticks in the drawers. Like a lot of people do that. I was trying to see if there was some in here. It's usually on the girls' floors, but they stick it in the drawers and then you can't peel it off because even if it says it'll peel off, but these are like very old wood. Yep. So like it'll just rip the drawer apart if you try. So yeah. maybe don't do that. <laughs> but yeah. Did you do lead hogs or anything for pick one when you yeah. were a first year? Yeah, I was in lead hogs my freshman year. Um, my freshman year was in 2020, so it was mm. COVID, but um, yeah, we did lead hogs and it was really, really fun. Really good way to get involved. Um, I learned a lot, like leadership stuff and it got me involved as an RA. So I really owe it yes. everything. So well, that's yeah, awesome. Love lead hogs. And just so you guys know, this is being recorded. It'll be on our reels in Instagram and also on YouTube um, later this week or next week, very soon. So. For instance, if you want to know those closet measurements that we took, you can watch this back and see what those were. How many outlets are in this room? I believe it's also five. five. Yes, awesome. So can we maybe point out the location of those? One, two. Yeah, so two over two the desk. by the window. Two by the mirror. And then one hidden over here. Let's see if we can show that. Yeah, on the ledge there. And I believe, is there also... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so two on this wall and three on this wall. Any other questions, you guys? We are in room 419. 419. Thank you. This is Yoakum Live. If you're just now tuning in, if you want to, send in the chat where you where you are, where you're tuning in from. And yeah. Okay, someone asked how wide is the bed post um, from the outside post? From outside post to outside post. Okay, so like the length of the bed, if I'm understanding that correctly. It's about three two. Okay, yes. So uh, this is three feet two inches. This and is six four. Six feet four inches. Someone asked, "Are there any single rooms in Yokum?" Um, I don't believe so this year. Only um, RAs get that. Yeah, um, <laughs> so I think pretty much every room is a double this year, um, just due to like the size of the freshman class and space needs. Yes, awesome. And I guess we can do this measurement one more time. Also, quick mention, there are these poles on the back of the door, great for hanging your towels after you shower and that kind of thing. Um, how deep, if we could get, is the closet? So from the very outside point to the wall, that's going to be... Two feet. One inch. Two feet, maybe an inch, roughly. And then if we go from the sh shelf um, 
to the wall. Can you see what that is? So for your actual clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one feet, three inches. Awesome. And for the full height, you can also watch this back. It'll be posted under reels very shortly after, after this live. Awesome. Any other questions, you guys? Send them our way. We are here just for you to measure things. And if we did not um, answer your question, send it again because sometimes it can be hard to scroll that far back. I'll show you the view one more time. This is really nice. Football stadium. The stadium. Yep. Basketball stadium. All of it. Someone asked about Holcomb Live. Um, that did already happen. And so you can check it out under Reels on our page or on YouTube. It is in both of those locations. You can watch that live. Um, but that happened last week at some point, maybe on Thursday. Yes, so Holcomb has already been live. Um, measure from floor to the bottom of top shelf in closet. Okay, yes, we have already done that measurement. Um, so right after this ends, you can watch back and see how high that was. Awesome. Well, any other things to add from you guys out here? I think we're about to wrap it up. Um, no, I don't think so. I love it here. <laughs> Top tip. Highly recommend. <laughs> I highly recommend. I keep asking to come back, so it can't be that bad. Um, yeah, just come ready to go on move in. It'll be hot, but we'll all be, you'll see me. I'll be out there. Um, yeah, come say hi. I'll be on the eighth floor. <laughs> I hear one thing again and again and again, and I'll just share this bit of wisdom with you. Shower shoes. <laughs> no, bring shower shoes for sure. Uh, people often forget that. Um, one more question. Someone asked, do any of the drawers in here lock? Um, no, they don't. If you they want do a not. locking system, you'll have to bring it yourself, because we don't have anything that you could even like loop on. Okay. Yep, so. yep. They don't have the hardware that you can kind of twist. Right, and, uh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to show them real quick. These are the handles to the drawers. They're just these flat. If you have a pipe chaser, I think, I'm not quite sure, but I think the desk drawer, you might be able to loop a lock in there. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I lived in HOTS my freshman year, and I think you could loop a lock in there. Don't we have safes available for people to get or something? But you can bring your own safe, too, if you prefer. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining Yoakum Hall Live 2023. Bye. Bye. <laughs>